exactly with you. Bronx, right. So you're seeing deep into the Bronx. This is Alexi Barrio Nuevo. I cover the world of high-end real estate for the New York Times. It took six minutes in the construction elevator to reach the 85th floor of New York's tallest residential building. Standing in the living room of this full-floor apartment, 850 feet from the ground, Central Park lays out like a giant green carpet. For now, it is just bare walls and concrete on the inside. But by early 2014, the owners of apartment 85 will stand in their master bathroom with his and her showers and stare out giant windows at the Statue of Liberty, the World Trade Center, and the Empire State Building. Already several of the world's billionaires have signed up to live here, including some from the United States, as well as China, Russia, and the United Kingdom. Rising to just over 1,000 feet at the top, 157 was built with them in mind. A French architect, Christian de Portan Park, designed the shimmering outside. A Danish designer, Thomas Johansson, is doing the apartment finishes. Even as the global economy struggles to recover, there seems to be no shortage of millionaires and billionaires willing to pay upwards of $95 million for a chance to live here. 157 once seemed a risky prospect in the dark days after Lehman Brothers collapse in 2008, but now it has set off a tall building's arms race. 157 will hold on to the title of tallest residential building in the city for about three years, when another building, 432 Park Avenue, is expected to soar almost 400 feet higher. But will it have views like this?